I have two questions. Neither one are related to each other. Says you. I have a question about a friend that, as you would say, croaked recently. Good. Um, I had three it's feelings. It's the only way to stop being a rescue dog. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to get all the way out. I had three different feelings. One that I needed to contact him. It was a, something was telling me to. No need, only if there's desire. Too soon. Number two, yeah. I agree. <laughs> Number two, uh, I had a deep pain in my chest that only happened when my uncle died three years ago. I didn't know why I was feeling it. And number three, I felt deep sadness. This was before I knew that he passed away. I sent a text message. A response was sent to me. And I was told that he passed away five days previous. And I had had all those feelings within those five days. Well, the most important thing for you to know is in none of those situations were you in true contact with him or you would have had no pain and you would have been feeling ecstasy. So you were focusing on the subject of death from the perspective that most humans do. The flawed premise that there is loss, the flawed premise that there wasn't enough of life, the flawed premise that didn't really live all the life that you wanted to live, all of those flawed premises were in such opposition to what your inner being knows about all of that, and more important, to the experience that your dearly not so departed was having. So. What you're amplifying here with your conversation is what it feels like to not be on the same page as your inner being about any of that. I felt like those were signs that were sent to me that were making me feel that. It was your interpretation. It was a poignant causing you to focus and reactivate all the things that you think about about death and loss that have nothing to do with what it's about. And you were close enough to it, just like just now. Your hand was up, but your light wasn't on until we bored you with the sound of that for a little bit. And as you thought about how crazy Abraham must be and got off the subject of your desire, you lighted up and we thought there might be a chance that you can hear this now. Yes? So go through those three things again. What are they? Uh, chest pain. Chest pain. What does that tell you? What does discomfort, whether it's emotional or physical, tell you. You are focused upon something in a very strong way that your inner being is focused in a very strong way, but in a very different way. And what was the thought that you were having when you had the chest pain? Uh, I have felt deep sadness. About what? I didn't know. It was just the feeling. And I questioned myself, why am I feeling this way? I'm happy because you weren't focused upon something else. But we promise you, if you were getting a premonition about somebody already having made their transition and you were in vibrational alignment with them, you would have felt elated and wondered what it was. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so this is a case of what humans do, which makes 13 year olds want to run off into the bushes <laughs> of trying to figure things out after the fact and putting assumptions on things that are just not accurate. What was the second thing? Um, well, the second thing was the, the sadness. And then the third thing was just a feeling of, I need to call him or send him a text message. You see what we were talking about earlier about whenever you have negative emotion, it means there's some deception going on. You're telling yourself a lie. And that's what that's about. You're telling yourself one of the biggest lies about what the cycle of life is, about what it's like to reemerge into non-physical. Oh, the parties that go on <laughs> when people make their reemergence, the thrill that we all have as we are aware of what you're all up to, the pain that we do not feel ever on your behalf. Humans think if you're really there for us, you'll suffer like we're suffering and nothing could be further from the way that it is. When non-physical focus is upon you, the focus is about joy and love, not about loss and lack. That's a human thing. You got to get over that. Good? Yes, one more question. 
The question is about my cat. Uh, she has some sickness and some ailness, ail, ailments. Um, Domesticated beasts often act like those who are around them. <laughs> <laughs> and then they run away <laughs> and then somebody rescues them and brings them right back 